You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey, everyone. Hey everyone, I'm Renee Ritchie. We are back at CES Live. I'm John P. And we are continuing our series of outstanding, exceptional, and amazing guests. If we do say so ourselves. We are saying so ourselves. <laughs> and we have, today we have Bob from BenQ. Am I saying it right? Is it BenQ? BenQ. Awesome, I was nervous nice. about that. It was, it's not Bank. Some people think maybe it's like Bank, like you run it all together, but it's BenQ. BenQ, like it's, in IQ. Like in oh. IQ. Is that why you are the smartest of these sorts of technologies available today? <laughs> we wouldn't quite make that claim, but I'm doing it for but you. But if we're doing it, you're not going to argue with it, right? We're not going to argue. <laughs> awesome. So I see a projection device there, and I've been a long fan of your projectors because you do really, really great quality that doesn't make me mortgage my house. Yes. So what is this one? So BenQ has been taking a very innovative approach to how we're designing and purpose building products. So one of the things that we've done for this CES is build products around the concept of a cloud. Okay. And, and most people don't think about the cloud in terms of a monitor or a projector. But, uh, but we, we've introduced a, a, a couple of products that are very innovative and very unique in the industry. So, so you're tying into the cloud? We so are we tying can put into our the cloud. stuff there and then project right off the cloud? Exactly. That's crazy I don't, I, That is, I don't have to run a giant box sticking into this thing? Well, so it's uh, so we we derive this from gaming. You know, BenQ now has the dominant brand in gaming monitors. We have gamers all over the world using this. Uh, we we've, we've done the big tournaments and and got players like uh, we're going to have uh, Justin Wong, the world's best virtual fighting player, in the booth on Thursday. So if you guys want to come and get your heads beat, <laughs> you get your butt kicked. You can go right there. <laughs> and he's going to be working on the uh, new BenQ RL 2460 monitor, nice. and it's designed around the PS4 and Xbox platforms because we do. The, uh, we did the MLG events all last year. Uh -huh. we, we talked to thousands of console players. And one of the things these console player guys do is they stream, just like right. you're doing. Yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. So we're announcing the first console monitor. It's got the Ferrari speed that the console guys have to have. Yep. And Justin Wong needs to have a Ferrari in order to be able to do oh, his yeah. moves properly. Yeah. And the Call of Duty guys as well. And they play them in the tournaments. And they can make use of that speed. Absolutely. They can make use of that speed. But what they really agonize over is when they stream. Because it gets all laggy yeah. and it's a little stuff laggy. Like that. Latency and yeah. So we took their feedback. We have an HDMI out monitor on the monitor to stream Pass it right from through. the monitor. That is awesome. Brilliant. So any 14-year-old Call of Duty hero guy can just simply attach his streaming box, like what you guys have here, yeah. and uh, or other ones. Go at it. And go at it and build his Twitch community, build his YouTube community, build that without having to worry about losing the match. And of yeah. course, losing his brand reputation mm -hmm. at the same time. So even a boring monitor is now cloud enabled. So <laughs> let me ask you a question. Uh, if you have essentially HDMI output uh, pass through capability on that monitor, does that mean if you wanted a different application, you could just take multiple monitors and string them together so you could have, uh, I mean, I know they're going to have the same thing, but if you wanted the same display in multiple places, could you just go out yeah. from one HDMI into exactly. the other? Exactly. How many times could you do that? Could you do it with like five or 10? I don't know, it's an engineering sample in the yeah. booth, so I have <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that's awesome though, that's great. You don't have to go through all kinds of splitters and stuff because it's built Just into Daisy the Daisy chain them right along. Yeah. Right. So how does that, have, how does that uh, factor in with the projectors? So as we took the concept of the cloud and we said, okay, what about out? Well, projectors are pretty boring for the well, most part. I mean, Geeks they're, love them. Geeks yeah. love them, but you know, yeah. normal people, they think they're a little bit boring, but some of us are cord cutters, I being one of them. I'm a so cord cutter too. I cut my cord this year. And of course, we like, well, I, one of the things you learn is that you don't have to be attached to the cable box, but maybe you don't have to have the TV anywhere you want. So what we did at BenQ is we built a cloud projector. Sounds crazy. This is a GP20 LED powered projector but it is purpose built around a cloud model. So are you telling me that like this thing hops on my Wi-Fi or something and then pulls exactly. content down? Right here is what looks like a normal boring little HDMI port. But it is a powered MHL port designed around a Roku or a Chromecast or whatever the next cloud paradigm yep. is. You simply take this 
put your Roku stick in there, plug it in, and now you've got your Netflix oh, nice. and Hulu anywhere. Nice. Yes. So I, I cut the cord too. I've been doing that for a year. All my stuff just comes right off of the internet. And I still have to have all this infrastructure to support it. The cord is not really cut. It's just the cord into my house that got cut. Right. But with this, the other cords are gone? The other cords are gone. You basically plug it in, so you need an AC adapter, and then point it anywhere. It's got 700 lumens. So it, it's instant on, instant off. You literally push the button, and it in the goes bathroom. In the bathroom. In the living room, the right. kitchen. Can you imagine that in the bathroom? It's Vegas. I Why can not? that easily. Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> I had not thought about that before, but now I'm going to go home and put one in my bathroom. What else do we have on the back of this? There's an SD slot. There's an SD slot. Is that slot? so that I could put, like, in, like what, can I, what can I play directly off of an SD card? Well, for example, if uh, you were storing this video that we're doing here uh -huh. on SD and you wanted to see it projected and look like at it, you just simply pull the card out, stick it in here, and you don't have to worry about all the cabling and everything like that. A lot of photographers like this because mm -hmm. they'll do a photo shoot, stop, and uh, they'll want to look at this on a, on a large scale screen, particularly if it's being used in a large print application. So there's a lot of things that creative people have started to do with this, and we've been looking at the different uses of a projector you know, I've seen fitness uh, companies where they just have a continual video of what they do inside playing on the projector and all it has is a little card on it powering it. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, let me ask you a rather uh, strange question about this, but I have, I have a reason for it. How's the power consumption on this device? How much power does it really need? And the reason I ask is because what if you wanted to take one of these projectors like somewhere and use it with a screen, like in a park or yeah. in a, I don't know Party. what. Party. Could, yeah. you, could you power it off of like a battery backup or something, you know? Because I mean, it's 700 lumens, that's plenty of brightness to Plenty do of brightness. But, but I know that the more lumens you have, the more power it t typically takes to, to, to project it. So we're looking at a battery pack for this. Uh, um, you know, I've got a lot of space down here to be able to do things with. Um, we did, on our last purpose-built projector that was a, you know, using LED technology, it was the GP2, and it was around the iPhone. Yeah. And uh, before Apple changed the connector, and so yeah. we did have a small battery pack on there that gave you about three hours. So. But that one also was lower lumen. It output, was lower right? lumen. Yeah. So it's 700. It's kind of right there, right? Yeah. So, so it's, it's about where it becomes usable. You know, if you had 2,000, it'd be wonderful, but right. then it would just suck juice out of the wall. I'm sure. You know, so. So we haven't announced a battery pack, okay. but stay tuned. But there may we like your idea. Boss. Okay, all right. <laughs> so we like your the, idea. What about the other end? What are you pushing out? What's the resolution? So on the other end, this is a HD resolution. So it's 720p. Everything, is, of course, has the copy protection algorithms in there, so you can use your content from your iPad and everything like that. It's got audio integrated as well which while it won't write up, uh, light up your home theater room in the same sort of thing that you get from your black metal box, mm -hmm. it will light up a dorm room and sound up a dorm room very, very well. Corporate boardroom. Corporate yeah, boardroom, yeah. yeah. And you could always use some Bluetooth speakers yeah. to go with it, which is actually what we did. We've got right over there, we're, we're using some uh, speakers here from Samson and they, they work well. So you just take your Samsung speakers and tie it into the output there, and voila, you got yeah, power, yep. powered things. And you so, still have the trusty VGA for the corporate types. You can, you're not letting them behind. Exactly. So that's our legacy piece. <laughs> so what's uh, interesting, though, is that a lot of people uh, uh, have, who are cord cutters or people who have never thought of a project before get very excited because they've always had to make trade-offs before. And uh, this is just small enough to where it can fit in the briefcase, it's light enough, and it's $700, it's relatively inexpensive. And I can literally put up an 80 inch screen, you know, in a room with, with some light in it, yep. and it looks like uh, pretty much a compelling TV. And all right, before we spend all our time on that, because oh, we only got like yep. two minutes left, you, you mentioned the keyword light. You yes. also brought something else with you today. I have never seen anything like that. It is a light, but. Okay. It looks uh, like Cylon technology to it me. It looks like a big kind of U-shaped thing, but that's not what it looked like a minute ago. No, it didn't, because I can wow. oh my <laughs> twist it. <laughs> I just had a snake reaction to that. <laughs> so this is the Kiz Design Hatha lamp. And you've never heard of Kiz Design, but it's the Q of NQ, and uh, we actually have some of the world's best industrial designers. It's rubberized. It's rubberized. It feels really so nice. It's soft this. touch. And it's got a it's got a tiny little whoa, it's got an uh, eight it's watt got a LED little, light and it's got a little button right here. You just tap that button mm -hmm. and it's dimmable. 
Oh, did it like turn off really slowly? It yeah. did indeed. Oh, nice. nice. Do you just hold it to dim it? Exactly. You just hold it on and it dims up and down kind of and thing? And it's easy to use. It's, you clearly demonstrate Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd never seen it before, <laughs> but I figured it out. And the so. shape is so cobra. The shape is inspired by the spine. It is. So it actually has a, a metal spine inside, and this is the uh, special texture of a, of a material that we... It's shaped very well. It's shaped, and you can, of course, make it into whatever shape that you want. So are these all... This is... This is a desktop kind of lamp, I can tell, and a, I have lots of questions. How much, when, also, is there gonna be any taller version of it in case you wanted something to match it? Yes, so as part of our Kids Design launch, we have about 40 different designer lamps, ranging from, this is our entry level, uh, at $400, and uh, all the way up to uh, floor lamps that uh, are at $2,400. So you might find these competitive with the Herman Miller line. Yep. Uh, you will find these, for example, they are in Boston, uh, for your Boston listeners, at the Modus store. You can go there and, and see that. So we've got different shapes, colors. Some look like coral reefs. This is uh, one of Very three organic. major desk lamps that we have. Uh, this is called Hatha. Uh, last year, we launched one with uh, Worldwide that won the Men's Journal's perfect product of the year called the B-Light, which is an aluminum light that folds flat that looks like it would fit right next to your Porsche uh, desk very well. I was going to say, it reminds me of Porsche design. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, our designer did work at Porsche. Oh, well, that so makes sense. I want to wear it around CES as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a beautiful. Is, it's a beautiful lamp. It appeals to the tech-oriented guy, and yeah. uh, with the ability, your board guys are going to love this because it throws out only eight watts of power. Yeah. But it lights up a broad area, and as you saw, you can you can twist it. Yeah. You can put it exactly and, where you need it. And put it exactly where you yeah. need it, uh, and have something that looks cool that makes a statement, because you know we we think about style in in the devices that we hold, and in in many ways. But most of us have very boring desk lamps. Yeah, and not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Kids Design is your solution to that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us all the goodies. And you guys, thanks so much for joining us. Please stick around. We've got a lot of continuing coverage here coming out of CES Live. Be right back with more of it.